Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. Now we all know DRA, drift reducing agents, are important for spray drones. And if you don't, well, now you do. Drones apply at about 10 to 15 feet off the crop, whereas a ground rig has a boom about three feet off the crop. It's a lot of distance and we typically use smaller droplets and we rely on a vortex uh, to create our pattern or create our swath width. All of that being said, drift can be a real issue, especially today. You know, it's not too windy. We do have some gusts every once in a while, about 10 miles an hour, and that's gonna make a very inconsistent pattern if we're not using DRA. So the question is, what DRA should you use in your drone? And when should you use it? Well, we've come up with a DRA solution specifically for spray drones. There really hasn't been anything designed specifically for spray drones until now. And that's what Air Shocker is. Air Shocker is a guar gum based DRA. And we know of research out of Auburn University uh, from Dr. Steve Lee. He's done a lot of research on different DRAs. He's a phenomenal uh, resource. If you guys want to go look at that research he's done. And the common denominator said that guar gum with rotary atomizers, which all of our drones now have, was the way to go. It produced uh, the best deposition and reduced the drift the most. So that's what Air Shocker has is a guar gum DRA, but that's not it. It also has anti-foaming agents. It has a surfactant to increase penetration and absorption into the plant. And most importantly, it has an amino acid package. We'll talk about that a bit more later. First, what we're gonna do is a demonstration showcasing the T50 spraying water only, and then with Air Shocker. See, so we have our field mapped out. We're gonna go ahead and select our field, hit use. We'll do a two gallon rate. We'll fly at full speed. We'll set our height to 13 feet. Since we're flying corn, I like to sit about that high. And we'll do our swath width as close to 32 as we can get, 32.45, that's just fine for me. Okay, everything's set up. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. Make sure all that is set. Obstacle void is back on. Here we go. So the T50 and really all spray drones now have two nozzles. They have two rotary atomizers. The rotary atomizers, as you can see right now, they spin that product out. And they, that's what creates your swath, is that spinning of the rotary atomizer along with your prop wash. Your prop wash is going to create a vortex. And that vortex was going to pull your uh, product out. And as I change my droplet sizes here, if I go to 100 droplet size, there you can see that's where we start having our drift issues there. Now, smaller droplet sizes work really well because you get more droplets for the same amount of product. The problem is, obviously, we have some drift issues. It's gonna create driftable fines. These rotary atomizers are really good at, you know, putting the most or the highest majority of your droplets in that 100 micron spectrum. But as you can see, we have a lot that are in the 50 micron spectrum or maybe even less, and that is what's blowing uh, with a very, very slight breeze that we have today. Now, we can combat this without DRA by cranking this up to 500 microns. And there you see that is really improved. We don't have much of those driftable fines, but you, of course you have bigger globs, bigger droplets. That's, uh, that's not you know spreading out as much as a smaller droplet would. That's not penetrating the crop canopy. Uh, as much as a smaller droplet would. That's not absorbing into the plant as much as a smaller droplet would. And so if you can avoid running super large droplets to mitigate drift, then that's a win-win scenario. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let this thing spray out and then I'll bring it back and I'll throw some air shocker in. Okay, t 50 is back. We've got about three gallons in the tank now. We're gonna go ahead and pour in our air shocker. Now, rates on DRA are extremely important because the problem with 
adding too much DRA is you get too much drift reduction and it actually creates big globs just like uh, we talked about whenever we were doing that 500 microns it's going to do that only even worse so the great thing about air shocker is we're not reliant on using a really really small amount we actually use eight ounces per acre at a two gallon rate now most dra's that's like uh it's like a one ounce per acre or even a half ounce per acre is what you're going to use at a two gallon rate so why do we use eight ounces per acre with air shocker well that's because of the amino acid so amino acid is basically plant energy so plants convert sugar uh they or they they convert sunlight uh water and nutrients into sugar through photosynthesis uh, amino acids are a part of that process and the amino acid package that's in air shocker is directly absorbed into the plant through the cells, through the leaf tissue, and taken in as plant energy. So you're effectively what you're doing is you're adding photosynthesis, more photosynthesis occurring within that day, producing more energy, more sugar for that plant. And whenever you want to increase yield potential by putting on fungicide, that's what you're doing, increasing yield potential, why not? protect yield potential by giving the plant a little more energy. This has been proven by science, proven by data through independent universities. A six and a half bushel increase on corn and about a two and a half bushel increase on beans over a two year period with herbicide, not fungicide, with herbicide. Okay, I think we're getting mixed up now. Normally we would have air shocker mixed into our batch tank or under a hot load tank, but for the video here, of course, we're just doing it and the drone tank. All right, we're good to go. Okay, the, our air shocker is in the tank right now. We're gonna use the exact same settings, exact same parameters, two gallons per acre, 32 feet per second, 13 feet high, and 32.45 width. All the same, flying the same pass. And we're gonna go ahead and start, confirm, start again, upload the task. Everything looks good there. Slide and take off. So our micron size is the same as what we started with last time. That's 320 microns. Wind speed's actually picked up a little bit uh, since, we sh since we flew the first pass without air shocker. So there's 320 and already you can see our pattern is better than it was the first time. Because those droplets are heavier, they are spreading out wider. And I'm going to reduce this down. There's 100 microns. And there you can see it's actually hitting the corn earlier than it was without air shocker. And it's making it through the canopy a lot better than it was without air shocker. This is that higher wind than we were when we shot the first time. There you go. Look at that. That's a hundred micron size. The vast majority of those droplets are hitting the corn earlier than it was without air shocker. And if we crank that up to 500 microns, it's going to be hard to even tell if there's any drift at all. There you go. 500 microns. We're getting a really, really nice pattern there. It's just raining down through the canopy. And because air shocker actually increases deposition, then those droplets are gonna make it further through the canopy, further down to the ear leaf. That's where you want your fungicide is on the ear leaf. If you can get fungicide down to the ear leaf, that product is gonna work better and you're gonna have more protection against that disease. Not to mention the easy to mix formula. Eight ounces per acre, now we have a lot of guys that are using a product that is uh, so many ounces per 100 gallon, and you got if you change your your rate, you go from two two gallons per acre to three gallons per acre. Uh, you know that doesn't that that can change how you might mix that product, and everything else you're putting in there is by ounces per acre. So your fungicide might be uh, 10 ounces per acre, your insecticide might be four ounces per acre, but your adjuvant or your DRA is 
so many ounces per hundred gallon versus air shocker eight ounces per acre from a two gallon rate all the way up to a five gallon rate if you just want the dra aspect without as much amino acid complex in there amino acid package in there you can actually decrease the volume per acre down to five ounces per acre of air shocker and still get the vast majority of your drift reducing adjuvant from that guar gum benefit okay we're done that's it i hope you guys learned something here today if you guys have questions about dra what dras are good what don't work if you have questions about air shocker and would like to learn more or test some out for yourself we'd be happy to help you out thanks see ya